businesses involve some risk. However, it takes real conviction to give up your job and put everything on the line to drive an idea that challenges the norms of an entire industry. Ormondy Group was formed 10 years ago by Paul Cooper and David Dutch. It has now established itself as one of the UK's leading providers of heat exchange solutions such as plant rooms and water heating equipment for all commercial and industry sectors. However, success has involved a determined campaign to encourage the construction industry to recognise the benefits of off-site techniques. Even when we started there were, there were still a lot of sceptics, there still are. Uh, but we believed it was the way forward and, and it was just a, coming to a, a, a tipping point almost where the market would accept it. Before establishing Ormondy, the team had been employed by Rycroft, a well-known supplier of industrial and commercial water heating packages. Ten key personnel joined Paul and David and together they started the new company with a relatively small capital base of £200,000. Their houses were on the line. It sharpens the mind very rapidly if you're used to working in a PLC-based environment and all of a sudden finding uh, yourself out on your own. Um, we, it makes the f you focus very quickly on what's important and what isn't important. Their plan was to deliver £4 million within five years. In fact, they achieved a turnover of £5 million, and within ten years this had grown to £25 million. Ormandy Group is clearly proving the benefits of designing and manufacturing the entire system off-site. It's about certainty, it's removing risk. You've got certainty of, of time. Um, we give a, a delivery date, we're not affected by the weather, uh, we're not affected by whether there's uh, labour issues on site. Uh, we've got certainty of cost, we, we give a, a quote for the, for the job to be done and that price remains fixed. Uh, the certainty of quality. You know, we're putting the, the equipment together in a, in a clean, controlled environment. Uh, we're testing the, the equipment before it's delivered. The challenges of introducing a new way of doing things into the construction industry cannot be underestimated. The traditional model sees a contractor winning a building tender and then bringing all of the relevant skills onto site to complete the job. They therefore effectively act as gatekeepers to projects and Ormondy Group must persuade them that subcontracting some of the manufacture will not lose them business, but rather improve their efficiency and quality. In the early days they would say, well, you're taking away our bread and butter, that, that's what we do. Uh, and, and it was getting the message across that actually what you're doing is, is constructing the biz building and this is a more efficient way of doing it. It's actually trying to convince uh, not only the client but also the people who's actually doing the construction, the people who are doing the actual uh, installation, uh, the mechanical electrical contractors who are involved in, in, the, in the build programme, that the benefits of off-site manufacturing far, far outweigh uh, the traditional on-site uh, assemblies of component parts, which can sometimes take twice as long uh, to complete. For Ormondy Group, getting involved at an early stage of the project is important. By working in conjunction with the design consultant, it can create the optimum build as well as simplifying procurement and planning. At the moment we still find ourselves in a situation where a traditional uh, build will be, uh, the concept will be considered and then there will be a process of, well how can we modulise this, how can we, how can we utilise off-site fabrication and that's a great process but it's, it's a halfway stage. The total package is when uh, we become involved at the concept where we can bring the modular design to the very start of that process. It's important because uh, you can only bring the benefits of off-site manufacturing uh, to the actual project itself if you're aware right from the very, very outset of the project mm -hmm. as to what uh, the criteria is that the project's been designed on, uh, the limitations of the, the, the access to the particular uh, project, or for that matter the, the types of pumps and valves and controls and all the other ancillary items that's normally incorporated into a project of, of this magnitude. Ormondy Group started out with a big plan and a big team and as the company has grown they've had the expertise to move forward quickly. So much so that in 2007 Ormondy Group somewhat symbolically bought out Rycroft, the company that the team had originally left. Further strategic acquisitions have expanded the business to create an integrated portfolio of products. Ormondy Group now has more than 200 employees based across sites in Halifax, Bradford and Burgess Hill. 
It has clients in all major market sectors, including healthcare, defence, housing and education, and supplies major projects in the UK and overseas. The company has also secured a number of prestigious contracts with the MOD, including supplying 153 plant rooms to the Aspire project, the biggest provision of off-site housing for the MOD. The off-site uh, manufacturing allows us to uh, have a secure workforce, a well-trained workforce. Um, we eliminate a lot of the risks that get undertaken when working on site. We get a reduced program time on site as well, uh, which is a benefit to the, the end user as well. It also allows us to uh, do some commissioning testing and actually complete the works in the factory in a safe and controlled environment. Today the off-site market is expanding rapidly as the benefits in cost, time and quality are being recognised more widely. Over the next five years, Ormondy Group aims to grow from 25 million to 50 million turnover. When the team resigned their jobs 10 years ago, they were convinced that their model made sense. Now with significant contracts in place, a remarkable growth curve and an enviable reputation, it looks like they're very much proving their point. It's been difficult at times. We all took big pay cuts when we started. Um, but the freedom to have, have your, your own business, um, the, the people that, that were with us at the start are still with us now. Um, it's, it, it's definitely been worth it, yeah. I don't regret it. If I was in the same situation, would I do it again? Uh, absolutely. 